So the round head period is essentially derived from what the figures looked like. They just simply had round heads. Oh my gosh, had, yeah, appropriately had, named. Yeah, exactly. Their, they, their heads were, were very round, uh, and some of them were kind of hourglass. They were shaped like a, an hourglass of it. So hence the term, the round head period. Round head. Uh, but that, that was during the pastoral period of, um, let's see, that was 7,000 BCE. Um, gotcha. Right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that that was much later, um, but we see here uh, a horned deity of some sort. She's she's clearly female. She has she has breast, but mm -hmm. she has head. She she has horns. Sorry, and um, she's quite large. Uh, what we see here depicted is very small bodies, which look like normal people running about, and she's gigantic with um, elaborate designs all over her body. Uh, oh, so, so, so this may be like a depiction of a god. Of a god, yes. And maybe the people around about were worshipping her to some extent. So, so yes. So much of the art from the ancient world is religious in nature. Very, very and this seems so. like from the very beginning. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I agree with that. It's very mystic, very obscure. And this piece stage. looks like intricately done like done with skill absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely and that style once again is is developed it's very consistent you know from all the way from morocco to north egypt we see that similar sort of slender body um you know simplified forms but it's still anatomical you can still tell it's a human being or you can still tell it's a female versus a male right whereas the female shapes are more hourglass like and the male shapes are more broad straightforward. Gotcha. You know, so it's it's pretty interesting.